Greetings, Poofarians! Welcome back to another episode of Demetrius the Big Cynical Adventure with me, Perfect. And last time we ended up here, we had a had a had a had a had a, a lot of deaths, game over screens. Uh, we got arrested a couple of times, I believe. But yeah, we uh, talked to this police officer, if I'm correct. Here's your proof. Read this article. Don't you see the correlation to my story? Not really. It says an antique seller was killed last week. That man had a statue identical to the one that belongs to me. And look at the picture. No tablet either. Alright, but that doesn't prove anything. You could have made up the whole thing based on that new paper. Newspaper. I'll include the article in your report, but that's pretty much it. So despite all this, I still can't get an appointment with Inspector Cassay. Sorry, but I really can't be of any help for now. And I'm literally dying of thirst. You're sweating like a pig, man. Let's say I bring you a drink. Would that help me get an appointment? Maybe, just maybe if you brought me an ice cream. An ice cream? Okay, I'll get you that. Quick, please. I'm suffocating in this uniform. We, uh, we can buy an ice cream. We know where to buy the ice cream. I'll go now. Sure, good day. Uh, let, let me see, what were the... <laughs> oh boy, that's colorful. No, there, I uh, think I used the... Yeah, I used the article, the newspaper on him, that's great. Alright, let's go to turn in antique and see if that ice cream dude has something for us. Suck me. Sure, you're still selling ice cream, I see. Yep. I want to buy it. Give me an ice cream, please. Which flavor? Uh, I don't know. Vanilla, maybe? One vanilla ice cream coming up. Here you go. So now we got a vanilla ice cream cone. That'll be five euros, please. That's a goddamn expensive ice cream, bro. All right. Take my last bill. Let's hope this was worth it. And we got to head back to the police station. Or the police department, as it's called here. Okay, well, mister, I got an ice cream for you. Still hanging out? Weather like this, you shouldn't get yourself so worked up. I got an ice cream right here. Oh, an ice cream. Gimme, 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 gimme. Wow, he snatched it from my hand. Slick, slick, slick. <laughs> What's this? Well, uh, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla? You said vanilla? Uh, yeah. I ate vanilla. It's awful. Hey, you didn't have to throw it away. And how was I supposed to know? You should have asked. Well, still brought you an ice cream. So how about getting me an appointment? You almost poisoned me, and now you want me to help you? Uh, yeah. Get out! Wait, wait. Okay, I'll bring you another. What do you like? Coconut. Good, coconut. And that is all. You only like coconut ice cream? Precisely. I had to get the most annoying police officer ever. I'm always so lucky. All right, all right, I'll bring you a coconut ice cream. Jeez. I'll go now. Sure, good day. Oh, uh, can we uh, pick it up? I can't stand people wasting perfectly good food. What are you doing? Can't you see? I'm licking, eating that delicious vanilla ice cream you just wasted. Are you a pig? Of course not. Pigs don't eat ice cream. I'll enjoy it then. Thank you. That was delicious. How could you not like it? I have a better taste. You do? Oh, I completely ate. And I got a trophy. I love to eat rotten things. I completely ate that ice cream. Wow. Let's head back to the ice cream man. Torn and antique. Here we go. Ice cream man. We've got to talk to him again. Hello again, mister. Bye. Say, uh, yeah. Not really satisfied with my previous ice cream. It was kinda accidentally dropped on the floor and I wondered. Sorry, no refunds. See, it's written in big characters in front of my cards. 
I thought so. In that case, would you sell me a coconut ice cream for what's left in my pocket? Which is 75 euro cents. You poor thing. I don't have coconut and my prices start at 5. Sorry man, but I'm running a business here, you know. Yep. So that won't work. We got too little too... Less money. Bye. Yep. Uh, wait, maybe... So will you buy an ice cream? Sure. Wait, didn't you tell me about an ice cream cone that only costs half a euro? You really want one? An ice cube and a cone? I think, yes. As you wish. Here you go. Cut an ice cream cone? Thank you, a real pleasure dealing with you. You bet. So now we got a cone with, <laughs> with an ice cube. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty go. We're gonna head back to my apartment. Bjorn's apartment. In here. I need to go to the bathroom. There you go, that's the bathroom. Is that still running? Turn it off, man. Alright, where are my... There. I need... That thingy. On the toiletries. Coconut deodorant. Yeah, that's it. Some here, a little more there. I sprayed coconut flavor all over the ice cube. Now we got a coconut ice cream. He won't even notice. It's all in the mind. It's disgusting. But hey, we got coconut ice cream now. So I think that that police officer will be very, very delighted. We got something for you. Can I use it directly on you? I hope so. Oh, still here, I see. Here's your ice cream. Guess what I have in my hands? A cow? Almost. A coconut ice cream. Awesome. Can I have it? Give it to me quick. I'll do anything to taste it. Just a minute. First, I'd like to talk to Inspector Cassay. He's not here currently, but I can give you an appointment for tomorrow if you really, really want. If I really want? Do you seriously think I searched high and low for that bloody coconut ice cream just for fun? Alright, alright, so your appointment with the inspector will be 10 a.m. tomorrow morning right here on the first floor. Does that suit you? Very well. Here, take this. You earned it. Now I must run an errand. Bye. Mmm, delicious. Ah, it has a weird aftertaste. You should quit smoking, I'm losing my sense of taste. Yeah, you should quit smoking, that's bad. A job well done, but the day isn't over. I should examine the other leads I have. Do I have more multiple leads? Is that it? Uh, oh, we got the Dumoulin LLC, right? This is the address which was on the lighter. Let's enter and see if I can get some information on Hector. But first we're gonna look for cookies. I really... There's a cookie. Weird. I've seen that logo before and didn't have a nose. It's because it isn't one. <gasps> Gasp. And there's one uh, there. It's a bit burned and it smells bad, but I can salvage this cookie. And the third one is here. Uh, somewhere. Let me see. There it is. In the underpants. There's a cookie in the underpants. Should I? Oh well. Okie dokie. Let's look around. Cool, they've posted their phone number. I'll be able to complain remotely. <laughs> okay, sure. What about if we uh, use it on the cardboard box here? Should I? Yeah, that should be fun to see. Hey, what you got in your hands? Just a lighter, see? So I light it up and then... Oh, wait, stop that, stop that. It's full of alcohol, you dumb... 
explosion. Here lies Björn Thonen, who died in a nuclear plant accident that ravaged half of Paris. Ooh, I love playing with fire. Why is my hand sticking out of my coffin? All right, continue. There. So now the billboard is unlocked, unlatched. Do you have anything to say to us? What do you want? Sorry to bother you, but I'd like some information. There's no tourist office, dumbass. Scram, you're wasting my time, damn it. But I want to know about Hector. I have to insist. I'm looking for a person who works for you. Oh, really? What is that name? I don't know his last name, just his first name. Great. Y'all know how many guys are here. 179. So y'all better leave quick before. His name is Hector, and I know he works here. Hector? Never heard of him. Yeah, sure he's doing stuff here. 100% certain? Okay, dumbass, I'll go check. Wait here, don't move. Alright, so he's gone. Ah, I moved it so I can get the rings of key. Thought to you, dumbass. No Hector here. Oh, sorry then. Something's wrong. Hector does work here. Either this guy's lying. He's too lazy to check correctly. Better find another solution. Huh, well, he can't help us. I better go. About time. No, you know what? I'm, I want to know sure. You don't know about Hector. Could you check one more time? What? You think this is some kind of game? Scrum before I put a bullet between the eyes. I insist. You were mad if you actually tried, you'd find him. The insults? No. Oh, Bjorn Tone in charge for insulting a security guard like a dumbass. I guess he wasn't joking. And let's continue. Alrighty, but we got the keys. We got the keys, so now we can get in. What the heck? What are you doing? What is that in your hands? Um, just trying my house keys in your door to see if they fit. You stole the keys. I did steal the keys. Bjorn thrown in charge for being a pathetic spy. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> All right, we're gonna phone Tom. Uh, do I? I had a. Do I have a phone? I thought I had a phone. Uh, there, phone. It's no use. You wouldn't let me. Better use my mobile phone. Oh, uh, there's my phone. There you go. Tom. Hello? Tom, I need your help. Bjorn, what's going on? Can't explain thoroughly, but here's the phone number for a company that I need you to call. The number is 0405745424441. Got it? And then, what do I ask? For the closest mental hospital so that they can take you in? Tom, just distract the guard for a few minutes. That's all I'm asking for. Can you help? Yeah, I might, but what do I talk about? The weather and such? I'll let you figure it out. I trust you. All right, all right, but you owe me one. We'll see each other this evening. Uh, bye. Hey, the phone rings. Hey, don't you hear that? The phone's ringing. I know that, you dumbass. What are they? Nothing get getting disturbed by morons. Who there? That's me. I'm going in. Let's see. Not this one. No. Maybe that one. No. Ah, I got it. All right. So we're in the archives. We're not going to do anything. going to wait. Hey, that's a bunny. <gasps> the eyes of the bunny are moving. Take a look at that. Ugh. We're waiting. The heck are you doing here? Uh, well, nice archives you got here. Thomas! Bjorn thrown in charge for being a terrible thief and a lazy ass. I'm Bjorn Snail. Continue. Alright, so... 
Let's escape then. Let's go. Wow, I'm glad to be out of there. Say, that's weird. I think I forgot something. Hey, what the? What's happening to me? I'm disap... I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. No, this is the, the, the game's way of saying, hey, dude, you forgot a very important key element there. So they're putting it back, because if you didn't, there was no way to get back inside here. Maybe I should leave. What the heck? Oh, uh, well, nice archives you got here. Thomas! So we got busted again. Bjorn Tony charged for attempting to steal accounting documents and toilet paper. Wrong way. Hmm. All right. Here are files with employee information. They're labeled A1, A2, B1. Gonna choose C. Four. No way, this is Hector's file. I found it and totally by random. I must have a sixth sense or something. Anyway, I've written his address down. Now to get out of here. All right, so let's head out this time with the document. I'm out of here. All right, it's already sunset. Let's call it a day and go to Tom's. He should be home right now. And it's Tom's apartment. Okie dokie, let's go there. It's the only place we can go to. Oh, there you are. I was starting to worry. So, how was your fishing? Catch anything? Nothing. Nada. Unfavorable wind. I'll try again tomorrow. You seemed all weird when I called you this morning. It's not that you're normal anyway, but even weirder than usual. Well, that happens after you've been knocked out. No! You knocked out! What happened? I was getting to it. Last night when I came home, I went straight to bed. You don't say. After all that alcohol you drink. Don't interrupt, please. I was sleeping soundly when suddenly I heard a noise. It seemed like someone was in the living room. Thinking this might be a thief, I took a flashlight. Oh, how brave. Hey, what would you do in my situation, huh? Anyway, I started searching when he suddenly knocked me from behind. Next time call the police. That'd be so much smarter. Yeah, but waiting for the police to arrive, the thief would have had time to rob the entire apartment. Anyway, I woke up in the morning after your phone call. Do you get it now? Why I couldn't go fishing with you? Yeah, but if I didn't call, you'd probably still be out on the floor. Say, speaking of phone calls, I just remembered something. Before it happened, I got an call. <laughs> an anonymous call. Someone was trying to warn me of a coming danger. What? Seriously? I thought it was nonsense, so I hung, up, I hung up on him. Who was he? Not your aggressor, anyway. Someone else who knew what was gonna happen. <coughs> ah, this is disgusting. Never mind that. So after waking up, did you go to the police station? Yep. The guy at the desk, oh, that was fast. After numerous attempts, I managed to convince him to give me an appointment with Inspector Cassay. Ah, oh, not that guy again. You know him? Ah, oh, not exactly, but I've been told about him. He's totally unpleasant. Also, I talked to my neighbor. She told me there was a fight last night, probably my thief. Oh, that's interesting. What's her name? How is this relevant to the situation? And what's she like, physically? Hey, stop that. And get your rotten breath off me. All right, all right, jeez, go on. She gave me a lighter that belonged to someone named Hector. Probably my attacker. What? Yeah, I must have lost it in front of my apartment. Why are you so surprised? It's just, what kind of thief would do something so foolish? Yeah, but at least I got a lead. I went to the Dumoulin company, which was written on the lighter. The guard wouldn't let me in the archives room, so... You called me to create a diversion. Yes, clever, eh? And I managed to get his address. I think I've told you everything. Now wait, I forgot to tell you about the... 
You know what? It's getting late. How about telling me more tomorrow? Since when do you care about the time? I've got a uh, few things to finish. That reminds me, you never actually told me about your job. Oh, I'll tell you another day. I'll be fishing at the lake tomorrow. This time, I hope you'll come and see me. Sure, no problem. See you then. Have a good night. Hope your attacker doesn't come back. And that was the end of chapter one. And the start of chapter two. Fun and fair. Yeah, that was a good night. Man, it's already late. I need to get to my appointment with the inspector. After that, I'll check on Hector. Hector's house. And I gotta do some fishing with Tom by the lake. Oh, I almost forgot. The fun fair starts today. I'm so excited. So we got a couple of more locations. But we will investigate next time. Thank you so much for watching me play Demetrius, the big cynical adventure. I hope you I, I really like I hope you like it as much as I do. And I wanna I wanna say uh, thanks again, I guess. I don't know, my brains are a bit like short circuiting right now. Um anyway, see you next time. For now, I Buffy. Salute you.